Hello, Classroom 3 friends, it's Mr. Fish. We hope you had a good Tuesday. And now we're back for another circle time. All right, let's sing hello. Hello, everyone. We're glad you're here today. Hello, everyone. We're glad you're here today. Tutti fruity. A Rudy, whoop, bop, blue, bop, whoop, bam, boom. Bye, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. Here's Miss Chelsea. Hi, everybody. Mr. Fish told us that it was Wednesday already. We can go ahead and get started with the calendar then. So we have Wednesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. All day long. All day long. Yesterday was Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Thursday. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday. It's the middle of the week already. Tomorrow will be the last day of school for the week. Oh, and we have our new month that we talked about yesterday. <clears throat> our new month is January, and our symbol was our winter coat for Mr. Bear, because January is cold and sometimes very snowy. January is the month. January is the month. Hi ho, did you know January is the month? January. Yesterday it was five. All right, friends. So if yesterday it was the fifth day of five, what's today? Five, and then what? Today is the sixth day. It's the sixth day of January. Let's clap our hands till we get to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so it is Wednesday, January 6th, and our new year is 2021. 2021. It's not 2020 anymore. We changed our last number and it is now a one. 2021. All right. What is the weather like at your house, Miss Kim, on this Wednesday, January 6th? Well, Miss Chelsea, at my house, when I went outside today, it was very cold and rainy. Oh, Ooh. rainy. Oh. Friends, is it and raining yes. at your house? Is it raining at your house? Let's see. All right, Miss Kim said that it was cold and rainy. You see the cloud? It's got rain falling down. Check the weather outside at your house and see if it's the same. Cold and rainy. It's a cold and rainy day. It's a cold and rainy day. It's a very, very cold and rainy day. It's a cold and rainy day. It's a cold and rainy day. It's a very, very cold and rainy day. All right, what does our Mr. Bear need to wear today, Miss Kim? Well, I'm going to say he definitely is going to need to put on some long pants and a shirt. And he is going to need that jacket that you had for January because it is really cold and he might need some rain boots or his snow boots that can act as rain boots today. All right, let's see. Let's get him dressed and then I'll show you and see if you guys agree with me, okay? Let's see.
Well, <coughs> here's our choices for today. <laughs> so I put a rain hat on him, and then I put on his long sleeve shirt and his winter coat, and I put on his long pants. I have yeah, snow perfect. boots for him. <laughs> I have snow boots for him because I couldn't find his rain boots. Is he ready to go outside? Friends, what do you think? Is he warm enough to go outside? His hat, his coat, his long pants, and his boots. I think he's ready. Thanks, Miss Kim. Miss Chris, do you have a song you want to sing today? With your I do. Song? I thought we could sing all the fish. All right. Oh, can I get Mr. Fish? Mr. Fish, do you want to join? Yeah. Us? All right, here he's back. All the fish are swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. All the fish are swimming in the water. Bubbles, bubbles, pop! Oh, I love that song, Miss Trish. All right, Mr. Fish has to go by again. Bye! All right, thank you, Miss Trish. Yesterday, friends, uh -oh, we lost the moon. We put together our Mr. Potato Head and we talked about our eyes that we see with our eyes and we smell with our nose and we hear with our two ears and we taste with our tongue. You see the potato head sticking his tongue out to taste some food and we touch things with our hands. Today, we are gonna read a book about things that we touch and how do they feel? All right, so I'm gonna try and share my screen. Okay, can you see that okay? Let's Touch It by Sarah Moore. When oh, there's a boy and it looks like he's holding something red. It might be a ball. Let's see what happens. My hands can touch it. Is it hard? Is it soft? And we see he's got two think bubbles. One of them is thinking about a rock, like a hard rock. And one of them is thinking soft, maybe like a pillow. So is what you're touching hard or is it soft? Touch the block. Oh, friends, you should have a block in your bag that you can get out and use now and touch the block. Touch the teddy bear. What do you think the teddy bear feels like that he's holding? Do you think it's hard? Or do you think it's soft? I think it's soft, like our Mr. Bear. Soft and maybe furry. Touch the marble. Hmm. I don't have, I didn't put any marbles in, but what do you think a marble would feel like? I think it might feel heavy. Touch the pillow. Do you have a pillow at your house that you can touch? What's the pillow feel like? Is it soft or hard? I like soft pillows. Touch the crayon. We had crayons in our bags. We use crayons at school. Are they soft? 
or are they hard? Mm -hmm. They're hard crayons that we use to color on paper. Touch the blanket. Mm, I have a blanket on my legs right now because it's cold in my house. It is soft. It's soft. Do you have a blanket? What does your blanket feel like? How did it feel? What is your favorite thing to touch? Which one did you like to touch? I like to touch my blanket. I also like my pillows. How about you, friends? What is something that you like to touch? And how does that feel? My pillow and my blanket are soft. The end. All right. So we read a book about using all of our hands to touch different things. One of our activities in Google Classroom is um, to use some of the textures that we sent home in the bags. And you can either cut them up to be a matching game to match the different textures, or you can leave them as they are and talk about how they feel with your child. Um, some of the, I think one of them was a piece of carpet. You can feel how the carpet, the carpet piece, see how that feels. Um, bubble wrap, I think was another one. How does the bubble wrap feel? Um, if able, they might be able to match the textures to see which ones are the same, or maybe put them in piles of, oh, these are soft. And these are hard, but the directions for that are in Google Classroom and I can post them to Dojo. Um, so you can have that for an activity today to go along with things you can touch with your hands. All right, are we ready to sing goodbye? Okay, all right. We clap our hands goodbye. We clap our hands goodbye. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. We clap our hands goodbye. We wave our hands goodbye. We wave our hands goodbye. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. We wave our hands goodbye. See you tomorrow, friends. I hope you have a great day. I'm excited to hear about the things that you touch with your hands. Bye.